Welcome. I'm your host today. I'm Lisa DeRees. I live in the Southwest section of the United States and I welcome each and every one of you. And I would like to work on the heart of spring today, something um, a little different. Most of you, I believe, have already done this. I would like to just break it down and go into mm, the feeling state. So if you can hear the little cricket in the background, I have a friend in my studio today who knows where this little guy is at. So if you hear this little, that's a cricket. So prepare yourself for standing. Sanctian movement. Slowly bring the hands together up in front of the face. Gently open the palms. And with your breath and intention, purify your hands. Your left hand goes up. down, making the connection between the heaven and earth within you. Left hand rests on top of the right, thumbs touch. Shangshan meditation is moving and non-moving. The first movement to the heart of spring is the spring sun has returned. We'll begin by very slowly turning our heads to the left. Ready, begin. Could you feel the stillness? Within, two, sink in the knees, let the hands float up and out. Continuing, one, body turns to your right. Continue, two, to your left. One. Take your time. Be willing to feel the chi flow through you. With every breath, every turn, last time, one, and then finish hand comes up, second hand comes out and follows. So let's work on this first movement a little bit more. Keeping that comfortable stance, knees slightly bent. And then let's just start by turning the body. So if we turn to your right, one, two, take your time, really go slowly. So we can experience the chi flow ever so simply. So in the heart of spring first movement, 
I've learned that coordinating the movement with the breath is very beneficial. So if everybody's turned to your right, when we turn to our left, we're gonna inhale slowly and it's gonna be synchronized. So inhale, turn. And then back to the right, exhale, relax. Inhale to the left. Exhale to the right. Finish. Relax the legs if you need to. You can shake them out. Reposition yourself. So again, back to the beginning part of this movement. We're slowly turning the head to your left, slightly looking up. We just turn slowly, ready? One. Now slowly turn your head back to center. So when we coordinate the hand movement from the Zangtian starting position, left over right. If we just concentrate now on the hands and the knees, we'll bring the head back in. As the head turns to the left, from here, the body slightly turns, release the hands and let the arms float. Again. So the feeling is very, very, very light. This feeling here is the, the elbows come out. Slow. Again. Ready. Sink. One. Just face me for right now. This time we'll turn the body. We'll begin with the head, very slowly. Begin, one. Two, sink a little, hands come out. From here, lower your left hand and we'll work with the right. So let's Inhale to the heart point as you turn to the right, elbow down, hand right in front. In front, not to the side. Going to your left, the hand goes down <clears throat> and out in front of the body, even though the torso's turned. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now bring the left hand out in front, lower your right hand, and then we'll continue. So inhale back to the heart point. Exhale to the right. Inhale. Exhale. Feel the relaxation come into the entire abdomen. Inhale. Exhale. One. Two. Last time. One. From here, change to right hand goes up, left hand follows, sink a little. Slowly exhale, standing upright. Second movement, restoring the sun to its origin. We're gonna shift our weight to your right. Arms are gonna float up to the left. Hands are very relaxed. 
on the count of two, going across like a tabletop, shift the weight to your left. Inhale up, come up on the right toe, down. Again, you might need to adjust your stance, do what's best for you. Again, one, two, three, four. Inhale, exhale, inhale up, exhale down, one, two, three, four. So settle for a moment. We work on the lower half. So we shift the weight to your right. It's really easy to stick out the hip. So see if you can sink in the right leg just a little bit, slightly bent forward, almost like bowing, but not quite. So again, if we shift the weight, slightly bowing forward. Now on the count of two, the hips go back. So they're back this direction. And then they shift to the other side and come up. It's almost like a little roll to center. Lower the foot back down, shift weight. One, you can let the arms hang. Two, three, four. Inhale, exhale. Inhale up, exhale back to center. So the hands, they're going to go to your left. So it's limp. On the count of two, they extend out and they come right across, like going across a tabletop or a mesa. The right arm is going to be a little bit higher. The left is going to come to about shoulder level. A lot of times it's really easy to get up too high. It's really here. Do your best to keep your shoulders relaxed. And on the count of four, the hands come down to the left. Hands are limp. And then two, hands are flat. Three, four. Last time. So when the arms go up, the head is looking to your right. When they go across like the tabletop, you're looking slightly down. When you come up, you're looking up towards the left. And on the count of four, when the hands come down, it's like gazing across the heavens, back down. Repeating again, head looks right. Left slightly down and up. across the sky and back down again. Putting it together, shift weight, inhale, exhale, inhale up, exhale down. Continue, one, two, three, four. Third movement, rediscovering the moon. We'll shift weight to your right. One, two, one, two. So to break this one down, the movement, Shift weight to your right and then to the left. So my knees, trying to figure out the best angle here. Maybe it's best to stay in this way. So to the right, center, weight is equally distributed through the legs to the left. I'm on the right toe. Feet flat through the center, shift weight. I'm up on left toe. 
One, two, one, two. If you just wanted to do this, You can still feel that calming experience throughout the body. Settle. The arms, when we shift our weight either direction, the elbows pull the arms up and down. So if you go to the side here, so feel the elbows, pull the arms back. Hands are relaxed. Two, one, two, one, two. So each time the hands come down is when the body is passing through the center. So it's inhale to one side, Exhale through the center, inhale to the other, exhale back to center. Putting it together, shift the weight to your right, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You're doing great. The fourth movement is called returning the moon. It's similar to the first movement, but it's not. So the first movement, ready. We'll turn the body to your left. Begin. One. Again. One. Continue, two, one, two. The movement is different because of the hands and the arms are moving in a different direction this time. One, two. So pause whichever side you're on. Right here, you've got one hand out, the other hand at the dantian. So if we use the breath to synchronize this movement, we can inhale, the hand goes up and out, and then when we turn back, exhale as the hand comes down. And then inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, one, and then finish. Second hand comes out, sink a little, two, slowly standing up. We'll do the closing Zongtian movement now. Bring the hands up. Open the palms with the breath blow. Prayers of gratitude as the left hand goes up. Thanks to heaven. To one another. To our precious earth. And finish. Be well, everyone. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye for now.